As mentioned in the previous video, Latin has six different verb tenses uh, to contrast with the more simplistic English way of thinking about tenses as a past, present, and future, so they're slightly more nuanced. This video will show you those six verb tenses. And these apply only to, it should be noted, the indicative mood, that is the storytelling mood. The first, the most simple tense, is the present tense. Uh, and the, the present tense can be translated either in, in a simple way, I walk, or you hit, or he builds. Right, this is considered the simple present, or the, pro, uh, or the progressive present. Uh, I am walking. You are hitting. Or he is building. So Latin is going to use the same form to say either the simple I walk or the progressive I am walking. Uh, and you have to, as the, as the Latin scholar, as the translator, determine which makes better sense in English, the simple present or the progressive present. The imperfect tense is a past tense, that is, it's something that's going on in the past, and it's ongoing, it's progressive, or it's incomplete, or it's habitual. So, you would say in English, I was walking, or I used to walk. Both of these are in the past, and both are not complete. That in, and that literally is what imperfect means, not complete in Latin. The future tense, as you might guess, uh, is yet to happen. And it's, it's, it's not uh, taking place yet. It will take place in the future. And it, like the present, can be either simple or progressive. So I can say, I will walk, or you will build, or we can use the progressive, I will be walking, or you will be walking. And again, Latin is going to use the same form, whether it's the simple future or the progressive future. And you, as the, as the translator, need to determine which makes better sense. Latin does, did not make any distinction. So we have the present, the imperfect, and the future. And if we have an imperfect, we must have a perfect. Remember, the imperfect was incomplete. I was walking. And the perfect is, therefore, complete in the past tense. So, I walked, or you have built. So we can either use sort of the simple past, we would call this in English, or this is the perfect, that is, is it a completed action uh, in the past. Uh, Latin also has something called the present perfect. Uh, we don't use this very often in, in English. Uh, but we do have it, certain phrases which use the present perfect, and again, what this is going to be is a completed action from the point of view of the present. So, when you think about a store, right, the store is closed, right? Somebody closed this store in the past, but it is in a current state of being closed. So the store is closed is what we would call the present perfect. Uh, Latin will use the same form, whether it's present perfect or past perfect. Uh, but by and large, when you run into the perfect forms, they're going to be past completed. I walked, you have built, uh, he has seen the light. Then we have the pluperfect. Uh, this too is a note from the, the word there. Perfect uh, is completed. And the plu is actually a, a, a shortened version of Latin, plusquam, more than. So this is more than completed. And in English, so it's completed with respect to a point in the past. Uh, in English, we would translate this as, I had 
seen the movie. I had seen is the clue perfect. I had seen the movie before you arrived. So notice we have a point in the past, you arrived, and this action, I had seen the movie, is already completed. So we oftentimes mark the, the clue perfect with this word had. I had seen, you had seen, he, she, it had seen. Now if we have a completed uh, action with respect to a point in the past, we also have a, a completed action with respect to a point in the future. That is the future perfect. Uh, and so in English, we would say, I will have seen the movie. before you get here. So notice the before you get here is a point in the future, and this seeing the movie is going to be complete before you get there. And so those are the six tenses. Present, imperfect, future, perfect, clue perfect, and future perfect. Uh, and if you want to break these down sort of in a, in a simple way, uh, and, and one way that you're going to learn these is you're going to learn the present, imperfect, and future uh, in, the, in the, the beginning. Uh, those are all formed off the same stem. And then the perfect system, the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect are all formed off the perfect stem. They all show completion. Now, uh, another way to look at verbs is to note that we have a combination of tense and aspect. So tense, present, past or future, an aspect, simple, that is just the action by itself, progressive, ongoing, and completed, well, completed, already done. Uh, and here we would have the perfects are all completed, the progressives are the, perfect, are the present and imperfect, and future, and the simple, the present, and the future. So aspect refers to uh, the state of the action in the verb, and the tense happened. It indicates when it's happened. And yet another way to categorize verbs are either as primary tenses, and these are going to be our present and future tenses, and our secondary tenses are going to be our past tenses. And our past tenses are perfect, imperfect, and clue perfect. So keep this in mind, that there are this way of, of categorizing verbs as secondary tenses, those are the past ones, and primary tenses, those are our present and future tenses.